What's going on guys and welcome once again to our channel Cool Case Adventures and your Central Florida family happens to be here at the Magic Kingdom and today in this video we're basically going to be showing you how the Magic Kingdom is looking this summer. I mean, summer day. Rumor has it that it's super busy, quote unquote. So we're gonna see, we're gonna compare the, the waiting time, we're gonna just enjoy some rides, we're gonna watch some shows, some parade, we're gonna compare the crowd level now that we're towards the end of June. And also, if there's anything new that we haven't tried, we're definitely gonna give it a try, right? Yes. Excited to be here? I, yes. yes. What are you looking for? Right. She just want to do right. But anyway, guys, if you like this type of content, Disney content, Universal content, and even cruising, we highly suggest that you stick around because we got a lot to show you. And also, we suggest that you subscribe and smash that like button if we're sharing any valuable content with you. Fam, are we ready? Yes. Awesome, because I am. So, what are we waiting so, on? Let's go. Wait, mom, hit the intro. Mom, hit it. Greg and Mitchell from West Palm, Florida. Alrighty guys, so here we have it here. They are about to do the parade. And quite honestly, it's close to noon and it doesn't seem as crowded as a normal summer would look like. I just wanna show you a different angle. As you can see, normally in the busy, busy season, before a parade, you're not able to walk through here here you have it. Here's the, whole, the entire space that you have. Even still, to look at, to watch this parade. So, I don't know. I think this summer is completely different than the ones, the ones previously, even right before the pandemic. And here comes the Disney Festival. Fantasy Parade, which I haven't seen personally, you know, in a in a while. I see this dragon. It continues to be one of the highlights of my day in here. Comment down below. Does this happen to you as, as well, especially when he spits the fire? A change of spots simply because I don't know about you guys, sometimes I do feel claustrophobic. I admit it. I suffer from anxiety and sometimes being in large crowds, it makes me feel super, super uncomfortable and claustrophobic. So, here's a spot that you could actually use. These advantages of, of being in this spot is that you're gonna miss the characters that are walking on the street. You will be able to see the flow. However, if this side is open right behind him, look at all this. You got all these spots, breathable spots, that you could actually take advantage of. And most importantly, once people start moving, all you gotta do is stay over here. Stay, stay put, nothing's gonna, you're not gonna be bumping into people or anything. So. We just watched the parade, Kyla. Attendance so far. What do you think? Is it crazy? Is it manageable? It's manageable. We literally got a spot like 10 minutes before the show actually started. Uh -huh. That usually doesn't happen in busy, when it's busy. So it's manageable. And we're just like walking like right after the parade, like with no issues whatsoever. Now, Kyla, you've been watching the wait times and some of the rides are, we're going to Space Mountain now. How, how long was Space Mountain? I, was it 60 minutes or something I like that? I think 60 minutes. 60 minutes. It's noon. So, it's a reasonable time. Right. Honestly, it's reasonable. At, towards the end of June. Yeah. So definitely not as bad as other times. I want to show you, right now it's lunch time, so 
As you can see, tables around here, they're cool, as expected. But as we walk towards Space Mountain, for those that have been here during like the busy, busy summers, you guys know, normally, it would be impossible to walk through here in towards the end of June. And there's fish that recently started roaming around here in Tomorrowland. That is so cute. It's always a good time to see a uh, stitch out here in Tomorrowland. Look at him. Next stop is gonna be Space Mountain. We're gonna do lightning lane on this one. Here we go. We made it here. And at this point, how long have we been? How long have we been waiting, Karen? Five minutes? Six minutes. Six minutes here on lightning lane versus 65. Yeah. that was outside so if you were wondering if lightning ain't still a thing you know that genie plus still a thing now we're about to go in there karen really quick they actually sent us to the other side where it's really full so 13 minutes still i'd rather do that 13 minutes than 65 it's lightning lane still a thing here yeah. in disney so definitely something to consider fortunately i'm not gonna be able to record because they don't want no loose items anymore here in space mountain so we're here at the energy bites booth as is they have a brand new drink they came out i think a few days ago just gonna go ahead and try it we never actually eaten from from this booth before but hey since they have a new drink i got an excuse now <laughs> and that new drink is actually piña colada slushy i'm here for it it says over here that is Chipotle, pineapple, matcha, and popping candies for $5.99. So here we have it, guys. This is the brand new drink. This is the pina colada. Slushy. Looks interesting, right? And this is the watermelon. I decided to go for watermelon. Because since then we never tried it before, might as well go with them watermelon. Watermelon uh, slushy is not new. But same price, $5.99. Again, we never tried either or. Might as well. Karen is already shaking her head. That is, that is pretty good. Pretty good, pretty all good, right? Pretty good. Pina colada, brand kinda new. Kind of scared of this one. Brand new drink. Guys, never seen our live stream. That's what we're doing. We're also record, uh, having a live stream as we record this. How is it? Oh, that is good. I don't know about the top stuff, but definitely the pina colada itself is really, really good. How about the watermelon? Watermelon's good. Which one you like better? Uh, probably pina colada. You Although like the pina colada? Like the watermelon's probably going to be more Right, especially uh, they, this. Like they like to like, hear it. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hear it, but you can hear it popping. And all right, so here I am. I'm gonna try the watermelon slushy. Just like Karen says, it's very refreshing. Pina colada. You can hear it popping, yeah. Let's see. I feel like it needs room. Very, it's like very sugary though. But it's really good. Both of them are refreshing though. But you're drinking watermelon. So the watermelon was good for you. Good. Okay. Pina colada. Ooh. Clara, how you like in the pina colada? A lot. Which one you like more? The pina, pina colada. colada. I just want to check tomorrow land speed where here we are at almost two o'clock. Only 20 minutes during the summertime, guys. The heat is brutal. So here I am. I mean, comments ready to start like a fed simply because I'm gonna ask for water. Water over here. Tap water is for free. There it is, guys. Free water. It is super important to stay hydrated during the summer over here. If not, you're, you're you are for a very long day, and it's not gonna be fun. It is 2:09 on a Friday afternoon. Let me know. What do you think? Is this like a regular summer to you, Kalo? No, no, I feel like it's less crowded. All right, it's less crowded. I don't, I don't feel like it's a normal summer because what's it called? The this Smallland Speedway. It said 20 minutes. It took us like about eight. Peter Pan. Peter Pan happens to be 80 minutes. I have not seen 80 minutes. The 80 minutes that I've seen is being out here before. That most likely it's gonna be a good 50 minutes, I bet you. It's a small world, happens to be 40 minutes, but we are on the peak of the day when it comes to, uh, no, a little bit after lunch rush, and people have already 
some of them started to park hop. So this is where most of the majority of the people are already in here in Magic Kingdom. So right now we're heading to Big Thunder Mountain, but as you can see, compared to other summers, not really. This is this is pleasant. As we mentioned, here is the peak of the day, 95 minutes for Haunted Mansion, but normally that line would be wrapped that way at a 95 minutes. So I don't know if uh, those projections are correct. Hello. Hunter Mansion says that it's 95 minutes. Normally at a 90 minutes, it would be down here. That's 55. That, exactly. I th wow, check out everything that's going on here on Tiana's Bayou. Opening sometime in 2024. Check out the work over here being done. How crazy it is that back in January was the last time that we rode it. But we made it all the way here without even bumping into people. But while we have you here, Kalo, we need people's help. What do we need, Kalo? 5K. We're so close to reach 5K, guys. Help us out by subscribing to the channel. Help us out with that huge milestone. That way we could actually continue to bring more fun to you guys. That's a dream of ours to reach that 5K milestone. At the same time, that we continue to have fun and the goal is by the end of this summer. Let's do that. 5K. Let's, let's go. go. Let's do it. Big Thunder Mountain happens to be at a 45 minute away. That's again, that's not bad for being at the end of June. Big Thunder Mountain line and lane. Don't mind if we do. Let's go. Partners, bring your seat. Remain seated with your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the train and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, because this here is the wildest night in the wilderness! decided to walk around and we discovered that the Little Mermaid happens to be at 25 minutes, so we're just gonna do it real quick. Little Mermaid ride after the ride went down. That's what made us wait so long. We decided to do line in line here for the Haunted Mansion, so it's only 45 minutes, it's 3.40. Plus that we have is for Pirates of the Caribbean currently at a 40 minutes standby. I just want to basically add Karen that we just got out for a second time today from uh, Space Mountain. Yep. That's how easy the parks are today. Currently the line was up still at 50 minutes, right? Yeah, but it doesn't even look good. But for us, I mean, again, we decided to get Genie Plus today uh, simply because we were with family members right. and they were going to get it. Um, for us, it was like less than 10 minutes. Yeah, so okay. Just a walk. Right. So by the time that we, from, from Genie Plus to Genie Plus reservation, it was maybe like half an hour. Yeah. That's how quick it was. Yeah. So that shows you that the parks are not as busy. Not, not as bad, busy. people. Yeah. Do not go by the pictures, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, not at all. Well, so now we're gonna try to get another reservation, either Seven Dwarf or maybe uh, Buzz Lightyear. We don't know yet, but, uh, you know, look at this, still. Still so easy to walk around, so. Yeah, this is nothing. I like it. You know, the kids just got out of Space Mountain and they decided to do Tomorrowland Speedway once again, again because it's only 10 yeah. minutes and I, I just want to show you guys it's like it's only 6 for it's only 6 14 it's only 6 14 so now Karen has the app open it's not look, bad at all look at it 
the highest wait time right now is seven doors at 80 minutes. Yeah. And I think the next one's like 50. So it's really not a bad, 55. It's really not a bad day, guys. And as we told you, the last ride probably for today is going to be Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. Here we go. Actually riding with Kyla. She wants to beat me, so we'll see. Ah, with 21,000. And me with 200. 22,600. I could have got more. But Kyla got mad at me and can keep changing the car. I didn't even get it. And it's, as we're moving to Main, Main Street, look at all this, Karen. Like, there's more people exiting yeah. the bar coming than coming in. And normally, you wouldn't be able to walk through here one, during a busy day. But today, it's completely different. Again, you said it on a Friday. On a Friday. During the summertime, end of June. Look, this this let you feel almost almost like an after hour party. You know what well, there's Starbucks involved, we're always looking at things and Karen is fighting me. But she don't she's saying you don't need more tumblers. Look at how pretty this one is. A magic kingdom, you got Mickey over there. Karen, do you even notice they have the rights? Yes. They even have Trump. Look at it. Yeah, it has strong weather, big thunder mountain, haunted mansion, haunted mansion the castle. Look, the tea, the the teacups. The tea. The, it has the tea. The teacup. It's a small world even on top. And this is actually thirty nine ninety nine. Oh, we'll be back. Alrighty, guys. So there you have it here from the Magic Kingdom. We hope we were able to show you everything that you need to see and know for this summer twenty twenty three. I hope we were able to deliver that point that basically you could do a lot of rides here in this summer, right? Nine rides, actually. Nine rides. You, you did nine rides. So technically speaking, it is 7 o'clock. We could have stayed longer, finished more rides if we wanted to, watch the fireworks too, and it would have been an easy day. Yeah, easy day. Yeah. Easy day. So we actually accomplished, accomplished the mission. Somebody understood the assignment, right? I did. I <laughs> Anywho, guys, sadly, this adventure has ended. With that said, we got to remind everybody to subscribe and smash that like button, turn the bell notifications, ding, 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 and feel free to comment down below or something too. Smile out, be great, be cool, and stay awesome. Be cool. See you guys in the next adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom, boom, boom. See ya. Bye.